Welcome to Callus Coder today. Hard scrolling and smooth scrolling. Mm. Motherfucker! So in last lesson I gave you the homework assignment to scroll the text with a hard scrolling. I'm going to go over that, how I implemented this. And since that lesson is really short, we're going to combine lesson 8 and 9 and also do the buttery smooth scrolling, baby. Because I'm a smooth talker. Let's jump in. So in the last lesson, I sort of gave you guys a homework assignment to make that text on the screen hard scrolling. So that's what I did here. I created my own text, I made it a nice bit longer and I introduced a scroller routine and like I said you should have been able to do that with all the knowledge from the previous lessons because whether you're scrolling from bottom to top which we already did yeah, scrolling from left to right is no different the only thing is that we uh, need to read a character from a position and put it back the position before that. So let's demonstrate that with a new window that makes it a bit easier to see. So what we do here is we actually load the offset by one. So we're not taking this character but this character. We read that value and we put it and the keys don't work. Is that because joystick emulation is on? Yeah. So we read this character and we put it there. We increment X. So we read that character and put it one back. That's the minus one offset. We read that, we read that character and we put it back one position. We read that character, put it back one position. Etc, etc, etc. But we do it twice because our font, of course, consists out of uh, two characters, the top of the character and the bottom of the character. And we need to, of course, shift them both to the left. And we do that uh, 40 times in total because these are 39 characters. So by the time it hits 40, we need to jump out. And then we need to insert the next character at the back because there will be a next character that needs to come in here to fill in that empty gap that we shifted over. So what it will do, where did it go? There. So it will keep a counter called the text offset, which counts in a variable. So we can have only a text that is uh, 255 characters large in this case. We keep that offset, so the character that we last inserted in uh, this location. So we read the next character from that offset. So if we have printed, uh, for example, this character and it would be character um, 31, then X would point to 32, so it would read that character. There we go. I compare it to the zero character. If it is the zero character, then we know that we uh, are at the end and then we should reset our text offset to zero. That's what we do here. So we will restart the scroller. And otherwise we put that character on that same offset. The offset is the number of uh, characters where we want it to print. So in our case, somewhere halfway around the screen plus 39 because that is of course the end where we need to insert it. Here I do that at carry 27 to get the bottom part of the character because our character consists out of two characters, the top and the bottom. And I put that basically uh, 80 characters uh, down. So on the next line at the same position, same height. And then we increment the offset and then we just uh, store it. Uh, we, we already stored it there, we uh, return from it. So that basically is it. You copy it from left to right and you insert the new character at the back. 
But of course this goes very jerkily. So how can we smooth this up? So let's edit the code of this uh, scroller to actually smooth scroll. We first start by uh, taking out all these delays. We don't need that anymore. I do need a single frame relay delay. But this one, <coughs> we already do color cycle. There's our uh, fine scroll. And that should actually work, I think. So let's implement that fine scroll. And we do it in the quick and dirty way. We just decrement the X scroll register. Then we check if we actually uh, hit zero. We do that by ending it by seven because the first three bits are the scroll position from zero to seven. If we uh, hit zero, so if you decrement more than one position, this is a very dangerous thing because if you overshoot it, then you um, changing the top uh, bits. You don't want that. So if it's equal, then we want to reset it. So let's first do the reset code. Uh, we will jump to the uh, hard scroll scroller. Because we have moved seven pixels to the left, then we need to move the whole row in a hard scroll, one position. And then we need to actually load what is in the fixed uh, X scroll again. And we need to OR seven to it to reset it to count back again. And we need to store that into the fixed X scroll register. And otherwise we need to jump out and we can do that here. Just jump to plus plus. And we call a fine scroll. The fine scroller will call that. I don't know if the color cycle is at the right place. Let's see what happens. We got an error. Fine scroll. Fine scroll. Not fine scroller. And there you have it. It's that simple to actually create a, a smooth scroller. Look at that. Now in the next lesson, we want to actually add some music to this and play it uh, at the background as well. But yeah, this looks really, really nice and it uh, functions and it's simple to smooth scroll. However, there's one caveat. That is, if we have a character, you will see that this also keeps pulsing. Now, there are ways around this with using raster interrupts. So, until this line, you will just set the scrolling register, the vic.xscroll, to a 7. And here you will actually decrement it. And when you're back here again at that line, you will set the VIX scroll back to uh, uh, 7 again. That way when the screen is drawn, because the screen is drawn line by line, uh, this would actually move and those other areas would stay still, because the VIX isn't any the wiser what is drawn or what isn't drawn. So that is a way to fake uh, having stuff stand still and other stuff to smooth scroll. So there you have it. We did it the hard way and the smooth way. It is whatever is your preference. Of course, when you go hard, you can go fast. When you go smooth, it's always a bit slower. So yeah, that is up to you the choice, uh, what you like the best. Anyways, I hope you learned something. And in the next episode, we're going to put some erotic music around our hard or smooth scrolling experience. Because what is hard 
or smooth scrolling without some nice erotic relaxing music. I hope you learned something and see you in the next one.